Good evening. The 2018 election is exactly two weeks away, and candidates from both sides of the aisle are making the rounds here in southern Arizona today. News 4 Tucson's Aliyah Shahid has the latest. Representative Martha McSally was in Tucson Tuesday hosting a Veterans Roundtable with Senator John Kyle. After the event, she spoke about the migrant caravan making its way to the U.S.-Mexico border. Last month alone, it was 16,500 people that are in family units that have been released into the interior of the United States. It's overwhelming uh, cities like Yuma, which we'll be visiting in the next few days. Uh, this is not okay. I think most people, regardless of their political party, uh, will realize that it's not okay that thousands of people that we have no idea who they are can just show up and demand that they can come into the country while millions of people are waiting in line to do it legally. And McSally's opponent, U.S. Senate candidate Kirsten Sinema, was in Yuma, where she touched on the importance of migrant workers throughout Arizona. Actually, in Arizona, never been able to meet our labor needs without outside assistance. Meanwhile, gubernatorial candidate David Garcia was on the University of Arizona campus with Senator Bernie Sanders, where he focused on one of the biggest local issues of 2018, public education. You see, I'm running for governor because our schools rank near the bottom at nearly every indicator. We're getting further and further behind. And I know in my heart that we in Arizona are the best state in the country, which is why we need to have the best public schools in the country as well. And Garcia's opponent, incumbent Republican Governor Doug Ducey, did not have any official appearances slated for Tuesday, but is expected back on the campaign trail later this week. Aliyah Shahid, News for Tucson.